What's up, guys? This is uh, FM Golf here. We are. This is our first video. Yep. We are here at Heatherwood Golf and Country Club here in Pelham, Alabama. I've heard it's a really tight but short course, so it should be a lot of fun. Um, we're gonna split the 18 holes up into three separate videos. First video is going to be a match play between me and McLovin here. Yep. <laughs> and I play off of a five handicap. I was about to say, let's go ahead and get that get that out in the front. <laughs> my handicap is not too good. It's about a it's about a twenty to a twenty three, depending on the day it is. On you know? the day, so, yeah. Yeah. So what we're gonna do with this match play is every hole we're gonna give him two shots, um, except for par threes where he gets one shot. So hope you enjoy this video. Um, this is actually our first time ever doing a course vlog, so it's gonna be pretty interesting. Yep. Um, we're hope, fun. Yeah, I hope to offer a little bit of entertainment, <laughs> but we'll see you guys on the first tee. So, we're here on the first tee. Uh, we got a par four. Slight dog leg right. I'm not so sure if you can see or not, but it's going to kind of be an easy star hole. Um, I have three wood. You always say that. I got a driver. I got three wood. I don't think I can make it to the trees. Uh, McLovin has driver. He might be able to make it to the trees, but we'll see. Struck it well. Yep, it's all right. That's a one stroke penalty, folks. <laughs> Fourth straight, beautiful shot. One eighty six. This is where his tee shot ended up. A little bit left of the fairway, but he's got a shot at the pin. One eighty six is going to be a five iron for me, for Freddie. It's probably going to be like a nine iron. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Beautiful. That one. Beautiful. Fat. Okay, we have made it to McLovin's <laughs> second shot. 100 yards from that five iron. <laughs> took me two shots to get to Freddie's one shot over here. See mine right there. What you got? 80 yards. That's going to be a, that's going to be like a three fourths 50 from me. All right. My, my 50 is usually anywhere from probably about, I'd say about. 75 to 100, 110. And just so you guys know, it did like rain a crap ton the other day. So if our ball is wet, we will be playing a uh, lift clean in place. So. Front pin location. We got a few bunkers on the left that we're gonna try to, and we got one on the right that we're gonna try to avoid. Oh, beautiful strike. Good shot, dude. It's a little long, it's a little long, but good contact from it. All right, so uh, we made it to my ball here that was right beside McLovin's. How about 80 yards? I'm gonna go with a 60 degree. Uh, this is kind of in between clubs here. Either a full 60 or like a three fourths 56. So I'm just gonna send it. Oh. What happens when you got wet ground but no warm up? So we made it to my chunk shot here. Um, Probably 25 yards. Probably gonna just play it as just a normal chip shot here. Hopefully get up and down for par. See it. A little long. Good contact, just a little long. We've come up to the green here. We got McLovin making a read. Looks like both of our putts are downhill pretty significantly. Um, I probably got a 25 footer. Glovin's probably got a 35 to 40 footer from here. So what do you see? A little bit downhill to the left. Double breaker action, all right. Excuse the wind. Ah, a little short. So we got a uh, little downhill. I think it's gonna break a little bit to the left, not much. Um, 
These rings out here are a little bit quick downhill, so I hope I can keep the right speed. Oh! <laughs> Alright, McLovin here is eyeing a bogey. This to take a one up lead here. I honestly don't see much break here, but I'm I'm very inconsistent on reading green, so we'll see. So I'm putting. That was what a double bogey for you? That was, so we're even. No, I had a bogey. You get two shots. Yeah, we're even. You just took a one up lead. No, we're even. I had a double. You had a bogey. That's seven and five. Wait. All right, so after some discussion, we have come to the conclusion that McLovin did take a one up lead. Got a nice little par three. I don't know if you can see the flag down there swirling. A little bit of a downhill par three here. I'm very interested to see how that affects um, the yardage. And downwind a little bit too, it looks like, as the flag is flying. So McLovin, what you got? All right, I got a seven, uh, which usually plays around uh, 155 for me, somewhere in that range. But I'm, kinda, I'm trying to kind of factor in the, the downhill with it too. I don't want to be long here. Huh? Oh, that's solid. Good shot. I don't know if you guys can see that down, but it's pin high on the right. Great. All right, so I've got a nice little eight iron here. Um, McLovin threw a dart in there, so I'm hoping that I can at least get something on the green here. Oh, I pulled that so hard. I don't know, we might not be able to find that one. <laughs> How you feel after that shot? I don't really want to talk about it. All right, what do we got here, Freddie? What are we looking at? Okay, so after a short approach shot from way down the hill, still got probably 20 feet here for par. Not really ideal. It looks like it's going to break a little bit left, but not too much. All right, McLovin staring down a birdie putt here. I'm solidly in with a bogey. Let's see if he can knock down this birdie putt right here. Ah. Uh. All right, so now we're on the hole three. I am two up through two. Yes, he is. Uh, we, got a, we got a par four now. Yeah, the hole kind of bends to the left. I don't know if you can see how the cart path kind of goes to the left. Yeah. Um, green is way over there on the left so, uh, with water on the right side of the green as well, McLovin. So. I'm going to be aggressive. Uh, he's pulling driver. I'm going to go try to go over these trees right there. All right. I think that'll be okay. Do you see it? I think that's okay. It went, a, it sprayed a little right, yeah. but I think he's okay. All right, so I'm gonna go three wood. I'm gonna try to hit the same line that McLovin tried to hit, which was just over them little uh, patches of shrub trees. Um, I tend to fade the ball, and even if I fade it from there, I should be okay in the fairway. Straighten out. I think that'll be okay. 
All right, so McLovin here is taking an unplayed. Five of him to seven. Not too happy with this hole. Coming back. Yep. Just over the back of the green. All right, so I'm here. My ball I got about a hundred yards. I'm not exactly sure how it got here, to be honest. Um, if you look back, there's some hills, so. Could have been what happened, but I'm not entirely sure. That was his line, though, right over that those trees right there. So yeah. it's pretty straight on. I got about 100 yards. Uh, I'm not real comfortable with this yard as I should be. So I'm going to try to hit a little knockdown, like 54. A little short, just a tad short. I'll take it. All right, so we got McLovin here just off the back of the green here. What a shot. Oh. <laughs> yep, good shot. All right, so what we got here on this hole, McLevin? All right, so we got a, we got a par four, uh, shorter par four, uh, 372, but it's mostly uphill, so. And as you can see, it's a little tight up there, but McLevin's decided to pull driver. Oh my goodness. Straight down the middle of the fairway. Beautiful shot, dude. All right, so uh, I had two iron. McLovin called me a baby, so I pulled three wood. Two down, I gotta have something. Should be good though. Yeah, you're good. I was like 300 yards into the green. <laughs> Okay, so we've come upon my chunk three wood off the tee box here. I have 181 yards. Thank God it's a short hole. Um, I got six iron. I'm hoping it's a little uphill. Probably should go with a five, but oh well. A little left, but I hit it pretty well. How far we got here, McLovin? Long, long, long. What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? Going a little left over there by me. About pin high, just a little bit left. All right, so we've come up to our balls here, and look at this. Me and McLovin right beside each other. Makes filming easy, don't it, buddy? Get in the hole. Oh! Not bad. Nice effort. All right, now we got Freddie up here. As he said before, just for my shot. Really close. Get there. All right, so we got McLovin here for his par. He was gracious enough to give me my par putt here. Match play. What, what a guy. Good effort to tap in bogey. To tap in bogey. <laughs> <laughs> and just like that, he goes three up through four. Gosh, McLovin here. <laughs> just kidding. He goes one up through. <laughs> and a boy. <laughs> tap in bogey there. <laughs> Double. Slight little rule change here. Um, McLovin has informed me that he does not like the two shot thing. So uh, he's gonna, we're gonna drop it down to one shot. So that means he is one up with two to play. Uh, we have a par five here. Uh, not too long, only 450 yards here. Let it go left. I think I see the big. Uh... No, it's actually dead straight. Oh yeah, because I see the you see the big green cover. 
Okay, guys, I forgot to record McLovin's shot. Okay, so, uh, my bad. I didn't get McLovin's drive on video. Slacking. Slacking here. It was, it was a good, it was good. It went to the it's left a little bit. A little bit left over there. In the fairway, I think. Yeah, so, my bad. Absolutely beautiful. It's gonna hit the car path. Oh, I think it rolled over it. It's close to it. Mr. McLovin, you got 200 yards into this par five here. What you got? I'm gonna be hitting my four hybrid here. It's pretty much straight on. Uh, that, there's a, I don't know if you can see it, but there's a little bit of a, a green cover to the left of the, the flag, so it's a little right of that. Coming back a little bit right. All right, so this is where my ball ended up here. I got really lucky here. Um, it must have hit on the other side of the car path and kind of came over, but uh, I have about 177. I'm gonna have to watch out for this little limb right here, so I'm gonna try to hit a fade. Try to fade it back in and I have a six iron. All right, so not sure if you heard the smack or not on the video, but this massive tree right here saved me. It hit, it actually hit like the limb, bounced up, and then came back right here. So got about 66 yards here. Cannot hit out of pine straw to save my life. So this is this is that that tough range for me where I don't, I'm not exactly sure what to do so i'm gonna try to chip it up at least get it on there and try to get it probably got what 30 yards or so yeah. all right so uh, after that chunk shot in the um pine straw thank you pine straw here we are with a chance for an up and down par i really need this as you know i'm one down and two to play um there's a huge ridge right in front of the pin so i'm gonna try to land it on top of the ridge and kind of let it trickle down all right, so there's Freddie. There's a ridge, you can't really see it right now because the shadows, but. Beautiful. All Yeah, he gave me that par putt uh, on my chip, so he needs, to make it, he needs to get up and down here. Good shot, man. It's just gonna ride that ridge a little bit left. All right, so here we are with uh, McLovin's par putt here. If he holds this, he wins the match. If he two putts, then we go to the last. He'll be one up with one to play. He can't lose at that point. He can only tie. Okay, well, we go to the last, all square. What do you think about that, McLovin? All square. One to play for all the marbles, baby. Uh, golf is, especially on the greens, you can, that's where you, that's where, that's where you win or lose right there. Yep. You gotta be able to make putts, and I have not been able to do that today. Close it out. So, on to the next, on to the last. All right, so as we come up to the last tee box here, what we got, McLovin? 260, 160 yard par four. Um, very much reachable for both of us. I'm gonna hit the driver. Freddie's hitting three wood. All square, last hole, all the marbles. 
All right, so Freddie's up on the tee now after my drive went a little right. We think it's safe. Yeah, uh, I think it's playable. We're going to have to drive up there and see. Okay, well, all right, so uh, hit a three with 123 yards. Um, that is it, extremely bad. But regardless, thank God it's a short par four. I have 145 yards uphill, hard in the wind. I'm going to hit an eight iron. I'm hoping this will be the right number. That's right at it. Right at it. A little, just a little That's left. Right All right, so McLovin really got lucky here. He's about eight foot from going into this abyss right here. But here he goes. 25 yards. Oh, you gotta sit down. Just a little bit off. Off the back. Hey! Mm. All right, McLovin here's got two putts to win. See if he can just lag it up there real nice and tight here. I'm about to see that one in, brother. And there it is. Nice bogey. We tied the last hole, but McLovin is your winner here. Post-match interview. What you got here? Uh, <laughs> not, I mean, it was okay. Um, need to make some more putts, so it will not go down to the last hole next time. Oh. Uh, just going to go ahead and say that. Uh, both of us are kind of, we both played solid, but not not our best. Um, so that that will be coming in next videos. We will play our best. All right, so as this dog is being a complete jerk right now, um, I took the L in the first video on the channel. Not ideal, but that means there's room for improvement. I uh, appreciate you watching the first video. We have two more videos coming yep. from uh, this golf course. So stay tuned. Stay tuned for that.